Hey, it's Devon, not Devin, and um, today I'm going to be unboxing a box of cornflakes made by Selection. It's cereal. It's got about 750 grams um, nutritional information on the back, and um, yeah, I think there's going to be cereal in a bag. Let's okay. It's all right. It's already open. So, but whatever. Let's see what's inside of this. Okay, that's that was great. Oh my gosh. It's the Joby uh, Gorilla Pod SLR Zoom with the ball head. Bet you didn't see one that that one coming. You know that's that's dumb. That was corny. That was stupid. Let's just let's just start it again. That's that's dumb. Okay, so this is the Joby Gorilla Pod SLR Zoom with ball head. It's a tripod. Joby is a company based in San Francisco. I think they started in about 2006. They make a lot of maneuverable tripods. They make things that are gonna allow you to get that footage or get that shot from any position you want to place your expensive camera equipment in. They'll make, they're gonna make things that'll attach to GoPro, GoPros and other action cams, point and shoot cameras, cell phones, and, and uh, okay, this, Jesus. Yeah, make things that'll attach to cell phones, anything you want really, of course DSLRs and full frame DSLRs. This in particular is the SLR Zoom. And the zoom stands for zoom lens, which means it's going to be able to support more weight. As we can see on the package, it'll support three kilograms or about 6.6 .6 pounds. That's the max that they say. But you could probably go over a little bit, but then I think then they, you know, you're not supposed to do that. Anyways, um, there's a lot of cereal on the desk now, but that's that's how I created suspense because the package is see-through. So if there was something in here that you know, let's just open it, but. It's see-through, so I think we know what we're gonna get. All right. Packaging's nice. It has a couple bit of information on the inside. Some usage information, stuff about the the ball head that's attached, and um, yeah. Anyways, so this is it. What I really like about it is it's actually really well. It's really light, but you can tell it's really well made. It's made from premium plastics and of course rubber. There's different colors too. This is just basic, but it's all right. I really like the rubberized feet. Um, they really allow a lot of grip, of course, and but the best thing is the rubber rings around each side, each segment, because that's really what's going to add to your grip when you're clamping it to like poles and railings and all this cool places. Um, it's actually really, really like rigid, and which I imagine will probably deteriorate over time over greater usage. But Joby does say you should be able to use this for like years, so it looks it's it's solid. Like it, that's it. Anyways, moving up here, this is the ball head. Um, ball head, obviously, that's what you're going for there. Adjust the friction with the wheel here, and the whole thing does turn as well. It does pivot on the, on the joint there. And moving up to the top, there's a quick release plate. Pop, push that in, and that's where you attach your SLR. And then, of course, a bubble level, which is really cool. Kind of necessary because you're going to be, you know, clipping it to a wall or, well, maybe not a wall, to something. Anyways, let's uh, get our camera on this. So I've got my D5500, and it just, of course, attaches to the standard um, quarter inch screw at the bottom. When we film, let's speed this part up. Yeah, this part's gotta go a little faster. Okay, that's that. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure the friction's been applied and that's about it. Tabletop tripod, ready to shoot. Now in the pictures, they always have it like placed low because that's of course one advantage of it. If you wanted to do this with a regular tripod, uh, or sorry, with a larger one, you're gonna to have to, you might invert the main, the center pole and have it be shooting upside down or whatever, but this thing is really, really versatile, really, really light, great for travel. And of course, to release, press the button on the front, 
and that's it. It's actually really, really, really handy. Um, there's also an adapter actually in in here. If you didn't want to use the ball head, you could just use the Gorilla Pod with the base plate that it's attached to without the ball head. And this is the adapter on it right here. This is the, I think it's 3 8 of an inch uh, adapter, but that's the traditional quarter inch adapter that you would use. So having that option, you, of course you could just mount the camera directly to this. What we really wanna see is this mounted in some, you know, up to a railing or something like that. A lot of the cool pictures you see online always have it mounted in somewhere. Where you're like, oh man, that guy's getting a really cool shot. So um, I have railings and stuff, but I, I'm not, I'm not gonna leave this table. So I have, I do have a plant. Uh, okay. So we'll mount it to this plant, and that'll be fine. So it's still brand new, so. The legs are really, really rigid, and like, as I'm wrapping it around this plant, it's actually instilling a lot of confidence. Like, one leg is wrapped, and this thing feels solid. I keep on saying plant, but I think it's a palm tree or something. It's not doing well. The cat's been eating it, and I don't know, it's cold in Canada. Okay. I think, I think we're good. Adjust the ball head. That's it. Ready to shoot. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty sturdy actually. All right, that's that. This has been a review of the Joby Gorilla Pod DSLR Zoom. Uh, it's Devon, not Devin. I've got another video. Watch that one. Share it. Subscribe. And um, I'll make some more videos. Okay, take it easy.